Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're gonna do the front cover. I don't usually do the front cover first, but I got inspired by playing with the papers a little bit. So we are gonna make a removable interactive element for the front cover. So this album is the basically amazing Enchanted Plant Department can you see that plant department scrapbook mini album that we just started? I have a video playlist for this album from beginning to end. It starts with the introduction to the basically amazing uh, enchanted decorative edge add-on and goes from there like what I'm using in this album and then the covers. So I will link that up here in the cards. Let me scoot stuff out of the way here. And down below in the description box and uh, the links to the collections list for the t pl uh, the printables that I'm using, all of that is down in the description box, plus Amazon list for this project, plus adhesives, plus magnets, plus all the, all the different little things I put down there. <laughs> timestamps. I also pinned timestamps to the first comment on my comment section so that you can find them easier. Sometimes the description box, it's like they just make it difficult. I don't know why. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a video. And be sure to give me a thumbs up too if you enjoy these step-by-step -step tutorials on mini album making. So first thing, I'm going to show you the templates that I've already prepped and printed. Some are already prepped and, I'm, and some are not. So um, I'm trying to just save time that away. And we're going to start with the basically amazing foundations. So what you're going to need out of there... Is I'm using the floral background design, so not the floral, the flower, <laughs> the flower background design. And so what I've done is I've printed two of 49A. Ooh, that's um, I feel like that's really bright. Is that bright or is it just me? I wonder if it's the black making it. Sometimes I can't. I just don't know. I don't know, you guys. Okay, so I printed two of page 49A, which is the mat to the cover. So we're making the A size cover, and both of them are printed onto 80 pound white cardstock and, I, and the flower version of the template. So I got both of those cut out, and I inked up the edges just so slight, ever so slightly, and have those ready. And then the other thing out of the foundations that you're going to need are, uh, let's see, it's page 17BD, which is these two here. So I've already cut these two apart. They, they come like that. So they're printed on 80 pound white cardstock. They come like that. I print, uh, uh, I print, I cut out all of the outside tabs and just left these two tabs in between them and then separated them. And then I have inked up both sides. These are the perfect size for the photo mat essentials that, so we can put our photo mats on here. So I've got those right. I haven't put tape on them yet, but um, but I will. So that's all we need out of the foundations. And then out of the basically amazing enchanted templates, you need, let's see, what did I do here? All of these are printed onto 80 pound white cardstock. So page 8B, I printed onto white cardstock. I've scored this line here. And on the back side, so the decorative edge is on the right hand side, right? If you flip it over on this back side, I put tape along that tab and I inked up the side. So I've got that ready. And then I'm gonna need that mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mat. So the mat for this is 55B. So then I also printed two of 9C. I printed one in the plane, and I'm gonna cut this one out with you guys. And I printed one with the flower background design on it. So I cut it out, I inked up both sides, and on the side with the, and also, uh, oops, where's it at here? <laughs> I also cut the top and bottom tabs off. And on the side with the flower print, I put tape along that tab there. So there's that, and then if we have time, I think I've got it in here. Yeah, if we have time, this is going to be an insert that we're going to use. This is 43D and 
44D. So it's this page and this page. And I um, printed the flower background design set of templates. So I printed on any pound of white cards. Like if we have time, I'm gonna make an insert with you, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave those in here for right now. But those are, again, on white cardstock. Oh, I didn't grab, I need non C. I need that uh, mat as well. Okay, now I'm gonna move this aside. Okay, so I've already, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have, we're gonna mat the cover with one of the cover mats and then we're going to have a removable piece that uh, is held on by magnets that's going to be able to come off of the cover so that's why we printed two of these so we um we're only going to need one right this moment so let me see here i need i'm going to cut i'm going to cut this one out with you guys the 9c i'm just going to get my big paper trimmer out and I'm gonna leave this long tab on, and I'm gonna just cut right on the edge there. Then I'm gonna cut these two short tabs off. Oh no, wait, not on this one. I'm gonna leave the bottom tab. So I'm gonna cut the top tab off. Uh, no, I'm not, actually, no, stop. I'm not gonna cut either, any of the tabs. <laughs> It'll make sense here in a minute, I promise. So I'm actually leaving all of the tabs on this one. So let me move my paper trimmer. Okay. So these, this edge is, it may look intimidating, but it's really not that hard to cut out. And it doesn't, you know what, if it's not perfectly perfect, perfect, it is totally fine. You, you're going to be okay. It, you can make the necessary adjustments. So you just want to turn the paper and squeeze your scissors just ever so slightly. Go slow, go fast. You can print another one. So I'll do that. So I'll get that one edge. And then, oops, whoops. <laughs> I'm trying not to move my arm. Okay, there we go. So the same thing, I'm just gonna turn my paper and squeeze my scissors. And yes, these are very large scissors. But these work better, I feel like, in the long cuts. If I was just doing a really small, intricate little thing, a lot of times big scissors, you know, aren't the way to go. But these work great when you're doing long, curvy cuts like that. And this is where I always get off track, right there on that one bend, and I don't know why. So we're just gonna cut it just like that. So I'm gonna write on here, this is 9C. Okay, everything else I think is, is, is um, scored. All right, so then I'm gonna take my scoreboard and I'm gonna score here. I'm gonna score this top and bottom. Prep it for now. I am gonna ink, I'm gonna ink the edge just in case. And I'm gonna ink this back side just really quick. I'm gonna move the, the mats aside because we don't need those right now. I know I've got the other mat to put it, that's it. <laughs> okay, so what I do need is one of the cover, one of the cover mats. So let's see. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build, actually let's start with, I don't have any tape on this one. So I'm gonna put tape on these and since it, there isn't, Anything on these, it doesn't matter which size you which side you put them on. So I'm just gonna take this is three eighths inch tape. I'm just gonna take it and put it on one tab 
or the, the tab on one side. Do it wrong? Maybe I might have. No, we're okay. I just need to make sure this edge is inked on, but it is okay. Okay, so you guys have seen me do this before. I'm gonna find the center. I'm gonna grab my Tim Holtz ruler and I'm gonna find the center on my page here, top and bottom. I need to figure out which way this is gonna go though, because I feel like they should both go the same way. Okay. It doesn't really matter, really, to be honest. Okay. All right. So I'm going to find my center. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to mark it on both the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to find my center on these two pieces. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tape backing off and we're going to line these up where it's going to be matching and we're we're attaching it to the back side of this paper here this mat I'm sorry <laughs> this paper <laughs> so it looks like that then we're gonna do the same to this one Yeah, it's hard to do. <laughs> and we're going to burn it. So we're attaching them to the back side. Okay. I don't want to erase those little marks. Okay, so we got that. And now I'm going to put some paper clips on there just to hold it closed for now just so it doesn't get in my way. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one, the, is it 9C? 9C that we have the flower uh, background version. We have the tape on the flower side and we are gonna stick this underneath here, like that. Let me make sure that I got that edge. I don't think I'm gonna worry about, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I think I am. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit off here, just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna start, let's see, I'm gonna take a little bit off maybe, and then place this on here. Don't go over the score mark. Son, did you hear him? Right now, ooh, that didn't, I didn't do a very good job, but it'll be, it'll be okay. We're just gonna go with it. See how it's like, this one is sticking out further, but again, it's okay. Not a big deal. So we got that, and I'm gonna put another paper clip just to hold that one down. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna put 8B, which doesn't have anything on it. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna attach it to the back side here. 
like this. So I'm going to remove just a bit of it. Actually, let me do the same thing. Chomp the corners just a little bit. And this one's going to be the exact same way as this one over here, so that's okay. I'm going to take the, actually I better leave that one there. I'm going to close the whole thing up really quick. Okay, so now we've got this. So this is going to, this part here is going to be matted, so you're not going to see all those tabs. But for this one, what I want to do is I want to tear it at an angle to go on here as like a pocket. So... How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to go like this. Okay, so the reason I left all these tabs on there is we could do the same for uh, having like a, a pocket go up this way in the corner, not on this cover, but on another page. So I'm going to save this so that we can use it again. This one is going to go there. So I'm going to ink up this edge. I'm going to ink up the side too. And then I'm going to put tape on these two tabs. I just straightened it out. Put tape here. And I'm going to put tape here. Burn this on. And I'm going to cut these to where they're overlapping just a little bit. So I'm not going to cut straight across, just do something like that. So I'm going to fold this taller part in, burnish it down, then I'm going to fold this bottom part in, burnish it down, and I'm going to remove the taper right there. Let's go ahead and remove the tape off the top and bottom. And let me make sure everything I forgot to cut this. Hang on. Okay, so then this going to go right here. Okay, so so far that looks pretty cool, right? I think so. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, I already know what I'm going to be using for these two mats, so let's just do that since I've got those out. We, we, we can't put them down yet because I need to put magnets and things, but let me show you what I've chosen. I'm going to use this piece here for this flap, for the, bank, uh, the base of the flap there. 
and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go up here. Well, let's see. Most of it's let's go down here. Most of most of this is gonna be covered, so and all you do is take the mat, which is 55B, in the enchanted decorative edge, lay it on here, trace it out. <laughs> or mark all over the template, whatever you want to do. So just take a pencil, trace it out, hold it still. You could print it out if you want it to. Cut this paper down to eight and a half by eleven, and the, oh, and then you print it out. It's harder to get the exact what you want from that, but um, we do that. We can do that too. I'm just making sure that this mat. Some of them, I, when I cut the mats for the workbook, I kind of wonky them a little bit accidentally. So, <laughs> so we're going to do that for that one, and then for this top piece. We are going to use one of the six by six papers. I've already pulled it, and that's this one. So I'm going to take this, and I am going to. This one will be a little bit more difficult to get that edge, but I'm going to try. I probably shouldn't have glued it down, but we'll see. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to trace it. I'm going to just trace some of it right there. Whoops. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stick this in here. And I'm just going to do a squiggle line, even though I'm going to have to. No, you can't hardly really say it. I'm gonna have to cut either squiggle or either either tear it on that line or or cut it. No, no, I have to tear it on that line. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna cut this out for right now. Did I mess up? No. I, was, I thought I was following the wrong line there for a minute. Okay. So I think I'm just going to go like this. Erase those marks there. Okay, so definitely gonna have to tear down. What if I do it like this? Doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, not too bad, huh? Oops. See, I just keep messing it up. I just need to leave it alone. Oh, I could do this and it won't matter, couldn't I? Okay. 
Let's do that. Let's just mess up the edges just a little. Okay, so there's one piece, and then let me put that aside, and then let's do this one. Wow. All right, I've got that inked up. And then I think, I went ahead and I think I decided I wanted to use this here for this page over here. So this is, this page here is from, it's like this. This page here is from the Flip Flop Ephemera printable. I have it linked in that collections list down below in the description box. And it's one of the full pages you can print. And so I took 56C, which is the mat for that. After I printed this onto 80 pound white cardstock, I took this mat, and I turned it upside down, and I traced it this way. Because the page, the page is flipped the other way. So this would be the normal, but the page is flipped this way, okay? So you have to trace it that way and cut it out that way. And I didn't do a good job. I'll tell you what. I, 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 I can't see as well as I used to be able to. <laughs> and it's really, because those light pencil lines, oh, and that even made it worse. I just made it worse. Good job. Let's see if that any better. Well, it's just going to have to do. So that's what I was thinking. What do you think? You think that's gonna look good? I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna set these pieces aside. And I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, so this is what we've got. So, we need to add some magnets now. So I'm gonna stick this here, just so that doesn't move as much. That there. I don't know what I want to put here, and if, whoops, so if I use a magnet, I'll need to get up under there. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paper clip that right there. Okay, so if this closes, actually I'm going to mark this on here because I'm going to have to erase it anyway. So, I know exactly where I have to put the magnets to make sure everything stays down. So, I've got to put them inside this situation right here. So, I'll probably put a magnet here and put a magnet here. And it'll probably be on the other side. No, I could put it there. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. We're going to start there. Um, I need to grab some magnets. Um, I need to grab some more magnets. Okay. So these are, uh, these magnets, I've, I've got them linked down below and they're also linked to my Amazon. They are super thin magnets. I use them in my albums. You can also get the basic gray ones. Those are linked. I've got these linked in my Amazon. I've got other uh, magnet resources linked down below. And 
You can also, there's basic gray magnets that are linked in my Amazon as well. I need my, I bought me a new one of these. Oh, I'm gonna get it, cause I've messed that. Well, just suffer through, Jen, suffer through. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> We could put a magnet. Let's just put a magnet. I was gonna say we could put a magnet saver there. Okay, as long as all these magnets are going in the same direction, we are good. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over like this. And I'm gonna find my magnet. Whoop. Like that. Oh, I broke one. You gotta be careful when they snap back onto you. Ah! <laughs> There's too many magnets. Ah. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna draw a circle around where those are. Kind of move those ever so slightly. I don't know how this got broken, but it did, and it's so annoying. I don't like it at all. Okay, so there's those. Okay, so then the next one will be this. So. I can take these paper clips off now. Same thing. Actually, what I could do too is use that to my advantage. I'm gonna stick those up there. And This, this, this adhesive is so sticky. It doesn't even want to let go of its thing. If it's paper backing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. so that we can get the magnets on the back side of here. Like that. And then, again, we're gonna put some magnets there. I'm gonna put tape there first.
I wonder, I think I should go ahead and glue that down. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a piece of tape over top of each one of these. I don't think it's going anywhere, but you never know. Those glue dots are something. This is just 1 8 inch. I've got a bunch of it and I just don't have a lot of use for it, so. So now I'm going to take fabri -Tac and glue this down. This is one of my glues of choice. This is a clear glue. It's stinky, but I like it. It gives you, it gives you room. It gives you time to manipulate. I like that one. I like art glitter glue. Uh, those are my favorite liquid adhesives right so we got that wonderful so I guess we don't we can go ahead and glue that these down too probably all right let's glue this one out there. And then let's do this one. I'm probably just going to put four because this might be heavy. It's going to hold a lot of things. So I'm probably going to put four, one in each corner is what I'm thinking. So, put one there. One there. One there. One there. So I just paper clipped this to the back, the other page to the back, and then okay. Instead of doing all of that, I'm going to take some wider tape and just going to cover them. I think that's what I'm doing. Oops, I knocked on the door. Okay. Since this piece here is going to get glued down to the cover.
There won't be as much uh, moving parts or anything. Okay. So we should be able to remove those. And... I think I'll just add a few more pieces of this and then we'll use liquid glue to attach it to the cover. I'm just leaving it attached to each other too. I'm just going to lay this on there together. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Make sure my cover's the right direction. Okay, here we go. Got something in here holding my cover up. <laughs> so it'll lay flat. Alright, let's open this up. the magnets we're going to need for now. I hope. <sighs> ah! <laughs> Alright, next thing, I want to embellish this cover a little bit. So remember we got the bigger flowers. We got that pack of bigger flowers with the stem and almond stuff. I want to use those to our advantage. I'm going to scooch in, I think, a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to put these on the cover, but first I wanted to I've got a piece of acetate. I want to make a tag that's going to go behind these. So this is transparency and then this is matte film. It's kind of like you can print on it. You can um, you can what am I trying to say? Use it in your mixed media and stuff. So I've already cut it into a tag and I think I like this better than the than the shiny. So here's my idea. I wanted that there, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it yet. I don't know where it's going to stop. I want this there and this here, like this, right? Looks super cute. And then maybe do a little bit of this and have a few embellishment pieces out of the embellishment pack on here. What do you think? I think it's cute. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I just need to figure out how long I want this tag to be. So let's cut it off right about there. So this tag is, I think, well, let's see what it is now. It is three and a quarter by, whoops, three and a quarter by, let's, let's make it a, a six and a half. We'll just make it 
an actual measurement. It's, whoop, sorry, puncture. And I'm pretty sure this will take ink. So I think I'll build on on here and then glue it down. No, no, let's not do that. Let's do this. Oh, I need to put a hole reinforcement. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me find the middle. Printed. Let's see what we've got already made up just because I didn't do that ahead of time. I just want to grab something, maybe something shiny, and just go from there. Maybe is this, this, that should work, shouldn't it? If it's mostly shiny, it wouldn't be that noticeable in color. So, there, we'll do that. So terrible at eyeballing stuff, it's ridiculous. Oh, I guess I could show you what this is this film. And I'll add it to my Amazon. It's this, it's this here Duralar. two-sided matte film. So I will add this to my Amazon. I'm gonna put it over here on my desk real quick. Okay, maybe I will build it on here because it's everything's gonna be at that angle. Okay, so I kinda want it to look like this. Sorry about that, my battery died. Okay, so. I had to, uh, I had to change it really quick. Let me see. Kind of feel like. That should be more like this. We're gonna start by just gluing stuff down. We're just gonna glue stuff down. I'm gonna try to be, uh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more precise so that we don't get to get glue everywhere. I'm just gonna put hopefully just a couple dots. I'm thinking that there is going to be Oops, what am I doing? I might be able to put a piece of tape there, is what I'm trying to say. We'll see. Alright, let me ink these up really quick. These are the two of the ephemera pieces that come in the ephemera packs. It's 
since we get two, I'm not being near as precious with them as I used to be. So they should probably go like under here. Something like that, maybe. Maybe we can move them around. They're not glued down. pretty generous with my glue on flowers because they are stinkers. Oops, you can't see. That looks pretty good. All right, here's what I'm gonna try to glue this down just where you see things. I might have went up too far. Urgh, dang it. did. This is looking so cute. Okay, so I do have two inserts. Uh-oh, what did I do with them? Oh, <laughs> they're in my book. So, I'm going to scooch back out again. Out of the, the flip-flop ephemera, which is where this page came out, we have some printable envelopes. So these are already printed out, but here's what their pages look like. Let me show you. They're printed out and almost put together. But this is the page I printed off for the, this one, the bigger one. And then this is the page I printed off for the smaller one. And they're printed, uh, these are printed onto, one's on paper and one's on cardstock. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's just kind of a fun embellishment. So this one's already put together, but I'm gonna have to finish that up. And then I'm gonna just, quickly glue this together because I'm going to use these as inserts behind there as well and then that one more one more insert so this is going to be like a pocket insert a pocket insert that goes in the in the pocket so I was thinking something like this I might even paper clip them together you guys I purchased these teeny tiny little gold paper clips and I got them on Amazon and I think I was hornswoggled. <laughs> Is that the right word? <laughs> I didn't, I thought I was getting like 200 and I only got 50 and the price was stupid. So I, I was not a happy camper about that. So I was going to put these in here. Kind of like that. And then the one more, one more insert. I did get them out, didn't I? Or did I leave them? I must have left them. And we're not gonna finish it. I'm just gonna put it together really quick, I think. So I'm gonna cut them out. I'm gonna cut one out from 43D and I'm gonna cut one out from 44D and I'm gonna leave the tabs on. And then um, I'm gonna ink them up and I'll be right back. So I got this one 43D and I got this one a 44D. I put tape on all of the tabs and then I mitered the corners a little bit and I've inked everything up, scored everything and let's just put it together really quick.
Oh man. It's crooked. Oh, shoot. Well, poop. Let's see if we can't. I got it on there crooked, but you know what? We're going to leave it because we can. Okay, so then I was going to have this one back here as well. So maybe I was thinking these could be sticking out like this. Let me put a paper clip on there because I don't know what I'm going to do that or there yet. So this is kind of what I was thinking. Like that. Wow, that looks pretty good. Although I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here yet. I'm probably gonna do like a wax seal situation. Um, yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? So the whole thing is removable like that. And we need to finish the inside of here and the back side. And we'll probably put some photo mats on here. What do you think? And we probably need to put a pull string there. And I might need to glue those down a little bit better. We'll see. We see. We, no, they're, they're in there pretty good. All right, you guys. I think that's all we're going to do in today's video. I know that was a lot. I'm going to put these in my crafty companion so that we can use them uh, in a different video so we don't waste. And, yeah. So be sure to let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this cover embellishing, whoa, I forgot that was in there. <laughs> if you enjoyed this cover embellishing, and I think it turned out pretty. Is it focusing? Let me scoot you in this way, maybe better. Yeah, I just think it turned out beautiful. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. Um, Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to check out everything in the description box. I spend a lot of time putting stuff in there for you guys, the links and organize the collections and stuff. So be sure to check that out. And yeah, if you want to um, share with a friend, if you want to create with a crafty friend. And again, thank you for joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.